Yesterday, PlayStation released the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth State of Play. It was about a 20 minute video showing off new trailers, going over in depth looks at gameplay and what's to come. Now, to avoid giving people spoilers, we're not going to talk about that in this video, and instead, we're just going to talk about the fact that at the end of that presentation, they announced that the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth demo was now available. So now, on your PlayStation, you can go download the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth demo and start playing it immediately. They did mention that data would carry over from the demo. In to official release and that sometime between now and the game's official release they would be updating the demo with a portion of the Junon region for you to explore. But before we get into that let's go over what comes with a pre-order. Now depending on whether you choose to just buy the standard game alone or buy the twin pack that includes Final Fantasy 7 Remake or you choose to buy the digital deluxe edition it's going to depend on what you get. The digital deluxe edition is going to include the game, a digital mini soundtrack, digital art book, as well as a few in-game items to get you started. Those three in-game items are the ma magic pot summoning materia, the accessory reclaimant choker, and the armor orchid bracelet. Now, while the PlayStation Store doesn't tell you what these things do, the Square Enix Store does. To start with, those that have saved data from Final Fantasy VII Remake will be getting a Leviathan materia, and those who also have saved data from Episode Intermission, which is the portion with Yuffie, you will be getting the Ramu material. The Magic Pot Summoning material, very straightforward. You will summon a Magic Pot to help you in the game. The Reclaimant Choker is a choker with an effect of restoring your hit points anytime an enemy is defeated. And lastly, the Orchid Bracelet is a bracelet that gives courage to traverse an expanding world. In the demo, there is a material you can pick up for Cloud that has similar language about courage, which makes me think that this armor piece is likely going to have auto bravery on it. Just a, just an automatic ability that will boost boost your attack damage, but we'll have to see what it is when the game officially comes out. Now just a warning, if you don't want to see what the world map of Rebirth looks like, click off this video. But before you leave, if you did enjoy this video, consider subscribing and liking this video. Thanks so much! For the rest of you who are still here, get ready for a screenshot. One of the big things we saw in the trailer was the world of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Now, the thing that's interesting is they mentioned that starting out in the game, Cloud and crew are in what's called the Grasslands. But when the demo gets updated, we're going to the Junon region. I think this demo might be a little bigger than they're leading on. I think they're going to allow us to play around in the Grasslands, especially if our data is supposed to carry over. But it's possible not because the original Final Fantasy VII Remake, none of the data carried over and you got to just play a little bit in the area so it is completely possible that they gave us a little section of the junon region and are allowing us to explore do some missions maybe go in a dungeon or a lair where a monster might be uh and do that kind of thing i'm hoping it's the other way where it's the grasslands and we get to kind of explore a bigger chunk but who knows who knows what they will do and that does it for this video if you liked this consider hitting that like button and if you want to see more videos from me hit that subscribe button i really appreciate it it does help out a lot especially as the channel starting to grow and we will have more more Final Fantasy VII coverage coming in the upcoming weeks and months of this game. See you next time.